Well, welcome guys, and well, welcome to another entry into the vault. This is Pokemon Stadium. Released for the Nintendo 64 in 2000 and co-developed by HAL Laboratory. This was the first game to bring Pokemon battles right to your TV. This wasn't a traditional RPG like the handheld games. Instead, in this spin-off, you fight in arena battles that typically take place in 8 trainer paddles per tournament. There was also Gym Leader Castle, where you'd fight the 8 Gym Leaders from Red, Blue, and Yellow. If you got far enough in the game, you could eventually go against Mewtwo as well. Plug in an N64 transfer pack, and you can bring over your own Pokémon to use from Red, Blue, and Yellow in Stadium as well. I mainly remember having a blast with the Pokémon minigames in this go, though, especially Clefairy says in Sushi Go Round. So while this is neat and all, you should know that this is a very difficult game, and a lot of times things just come down to luck, I'm afraid. In tournaments, you have limited continues, though you can add more with, if you can manage to get a perfect victory where none of your Pokémon get knocked out. Lose all continues, and you have to do the whole thing all over again. This is especially noticeable when you unlock Round 2 after defeating the Gym Leaders in Mewtwo. The AI just straight up cheats against you in this, I swear, and it's quite infuriating. Just fair warning that trying to fully complete this game is kind of a nightmare. Now, unfortunately, I do not know where my transfer pack is anymore, so I cannot transfer my Pokémon even if I wanted to. Hey, look, we can switch between round one and two. Oh, and I also unlocked a neat fe feature. You can unlock a neat feature where, um... You can actually play uh, the original Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow with the transfer pack on here. And you can play at like two times speed, I think, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. The Hall of Fame, Gym Leader Castle, Pokemon Lab. Let's try a stadium f battle. Uh, let's do Great Ball! Now, if I had my transfer pack and one of the Pokemon ga games attached, I could use my own Pokemon. But instead, we'll have to use rental Pokemon. So, th the general idea is that the lower level, the, the unevolved Pokemon will usually have better moves. Uh, but less sta stats, while the higher, the more evolved Pokemon will have better stats, but not as good moves. Oh yes, let's use War Total because this Blast Toys has terrible moves. I would never use Hydro Pump or Skull Bash. Beam, try attack metronome and disable. I'd rather have Kadabra. Blastoise and Kadabra were like my go to team in Pokemon Blue. That was my very first Pokemon game. And I I've always like made it a point to have like a Kadabra on my team. Kadabra's really cool. Collect the buzz. Magmar. Because I like both of them. Fireballs. Well, Cubone has Earthquake. Earthquake Strength and Blizzard. I gotta go with Cubo. Oh, uh, I need one more Pokemon. Uh, let's see. And both Zubat and Coldbat don't have very good moves. 
Uh. Hmm. Damn. Who else would I want to grab? Krabby and Kingler are cool. Both of them have crab armor. Uh, okay, let's bring Krabby. I'm probably only gonna do, like, one battle anyway. Okay, a team mostly weak to psychic attacks. So bring you, you, and Rotoro. It's finally on! Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Great Ball! The battles get underway to the cheers of an enthusiastic crowd! The trainer names for the, in this game absolutely suck. Take it down on the word go! I love the announcer for this game. Oh, it's Minarino! How will the type difference affect that? Badly. Savage attack! No! This Pokemon looks wrong! Why? Take it down with one hit! There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokémon! You think? Oh, it's Coffin! Coffin! Oh. The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. There it goes! And goodbye! Wow! That's an effective hit! Gone! It's a one-hit wonder! It's a one-hit wonder. And there goes the okay, and because we got a perfect victory, that means we get a continue. Okay, maybe we'll do a couple more. So three grass types and three electric types. So it could go either way, really. Uh, let's see. Got the jazz hands. They strike fighting poses. Oh, that's that's bad. Thank you, Thunderway. Oop, it's paralyzed. Savage attack. There, it's a hit. Sparks are flying in this heated match! The trainer's changing Pokémon. Oh, it's Cubo! Ha! What's next? Miss the target! Will this Pokémon swap change the flow of battle? Oh, he's going to go for accuracy down. Damn it. Still knocked you out with one hit, though. <laughs> I like how he just kind of perks straight up before he goes down. Oh, it's Ivysaur! The Pokémon are entirely different types! The 
Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Oh, it's Kadabra! What's this? Don't crit. No. Okay, it wasn't that bad. How will the SWAT Pokemon fight? There's the attack! Smack the weak spot! Why? Take it down with one! Good hit. job, Kadabra. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Oh, it's blue! The remaining Those Pokemon count is three. Big old points. eyes you got there, Boom. The battle has become one And stop staring at me with them big there old eyes. Oh, super effective and critical hit. Nice. Oh, Bringing Cadaver was a good choice for this. And there goes the battle! Yeah, it may not seem too bad right now, but it is the Great Ball Cup. And, uh... This is only round one. Round two definitely amps things up. Oh, it's a juggler. He's actually got Pokemon all over the place. Okay, so two that are weak to Psych- uh, hmm. Play to the odds. Awesome counter. Ah, cheeky, you've got That's counter as well. Man. They're just trading warning blows now. The trainer's changing Pokemon. Oh, it's Hitmonlee! It's a Hitmonlee, really? Okay. What's this? Thrill that weak spot! How will the swap Pokemon fight? What advantage does Hitmonlee have here? A psychic flash! Pokemon choice! Oh! Is it down and out? Which Pokemon is coming out? Oh, it's Poliwhirl! The Pokemon are entirely different types! What's that? The special mat is that! Oh wow, it survived. There it is! Counter Strike! Oh, do all his Pokemon and have counter? What a furious battle! How's that? Too bad that won't mean a thing against the special attack. You know, something that this game definitely needed, which I'm glad Diamond and Pearl Pokemon. fixed was fixing the att the whole special There's and attack split. That was the definitely a godsend for a lot of Pokemon. Because like Fire Punch, that's side. considered a special attack, even though it's a physical. It's not very effective. I know it's not very effective. Bone Meringue? What now? Oh crap. That could hurt. Fireworks are flying in this battle! The Pokémon returns to its Pokéball! Oh, it's Electabuzz! What'll it do? There, it's a hit! Will this 
Pokemon Swap change the flow of battle? It used Thunder Wave! Oops, it's paralyzed! <laughs> it metronomed Headbutt, when that's when it's its own attacks. That's Both funny. Pokemon appear equally fit. Savage attack! Good hit! It's building energy for the next attack! Uh-oh, it's gonna lose Skull Bash. Good hit. Oh, holy crap! What's that? Yeah, it's a hit! You what lucky a son of a gun. Oh, well, you won't survive this one. How's that? And it's down! Goodbye, Drowsy. Drowsy. Let's play some mini games. Now, I used to be like really good at Magic Harp Splash. Let's see if that's changed. Make Magikarp splash and hit the counter to score. Hit the A button. Press A just as Magikarp lands for quick splashes. I got a chain going there. Uh, let's do Clefairy Says. The best student wins. I may have got that one wrong. Okay, 
Run, Ratata, run! Tap the A button repeatedly. Press up to jump. Okay. When they remember Pokemon Stadium, I think they mainly remember the mini games because they were hella fun. Snore War. Press the A button when the pendulum gets to the center red needle to cast hypnosis. The last one awake wins. I used to not be able to understand this game at all. I lost. How dare you? Let's try that again. Thundering Dynamo. Right. Blue tap A, green tap B. At least that Voltorb didn't self-destruct. That's something they're known to do. Sushi go round. I love this one. The A button to eat the sushi, the biggest spender wins. At the same time in a row to score more points. Watch out for the wasabi though.
Oh. Oh, wow. I was not a big spender there. Okay, looks like chaining them together is definitely the way to go. Hiroshai! Ekans Hoop and Hurl. This is probably the hardest one. Aim using the control stick, pull back and flick the control stick to launch Ekans. that again. Diglett, mine! Yes. This one's very silly, but I like it. Rock Harden. Just pray press A to Harden to avoid getting hit by boulders. I'm a metapod. Last mini game, dig, dig, dig. Oh lord, L and R buttons to dig. I think that's my least favorite out of all these.
Alright, well, there you go, you got a taste of what Pokemon Stadium is like. But yeah, trust me, this is a pretty damn unforgiving game, especially on round two, where just trying to do anything just comes down to luck, and I, I'm pretty sure the AI just straight up cheats and knows, like, like your moves and what you're, what you're planning to do, especially if you're using rental Pokemon. But hey, the minigames are fun at least.